What is up guys? Sorry I'm Mr. Beck again, also known as a black gentleman. And today I'm gonna go ahead and kick things off with a review for Foxwire and Knee. And I figured I'd start out with Foxwire first, otherwise known as a pet. And um I figured starting it out, I'll go ahead and put him in his go ahead and start him out in the transformation mode. Uh, this is their uh, MMC's um homage to uh Dominus Ambus, I believe. Um Rewind's first, um, I'm not sure what, conjunctus something or other, boyfriend, what, I, I don't know. Anyway, this, this is this is this is him I mean, in robot mode. In the comic book, you don't see this very much because uh, it's mostly in the past context. But yeah, this is uh, this is how he looks. And uh, I have to say too, the transformation is very straightforward. Uh, come in the package, he actually starts off in his uh, Turbo Fox mode. But I figure I I want to do the robot first because honestly when this guy goes on the shelf, he's gonna stay in that Turbo Fox mode because that's, that's how I don't miss. But to start things out. Um, they threw quite a bit of paint on this guy, as you can tell. Uh, before I even go on articulation, I'm going to go in paint because I'm, I'm I'm proud of paint. <laughs> uh, where paint is applied and it's mostly accents. Like uh, you have silver paint here on the shoulders here. Uh, black paint here, more silver, silver on the face, red eyes. He has the the low bearer mustache that a lot of the Ambus characters have, like uh, Ultra Madness is a uh, Mims Ambus. More silver here on the arms here. The waist is silver, black paint at the waist here. Uh, silver paint on the thigh area and toes. Let's see. Oh, silver paint here on the. Uh, on the missile pods, that which do come off on the hip, so I'll, I'll get around to showing it on both sides, and more silver paint here on the 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 I guess the the Ford the, the Ford feet for the Fox move. Also, he has a little bit of gray paint here on top of the Fox head, and uh, red paint here on the eyes. Now, the one now one of the accessories he comes with is this here, which also has a fair amount of paint accents. Has a uh, silver whiskers and green painted eyes, and I think this is a uh, uh, layer in comics, which uh, I feel like they I feel like they draw him differently every time. Um, there's, a, there's a certain point when you see him, and he has like a real big bulging eye, though it's not represented here. And one of his eyes is broken, which is is, which is represented here. We see here the green his green eye is a. Uh, some of the paint's been taken off. I guess to show that it's supposed to be the glass is supposed to be broken. So that's that. Um, I kind of wish the eye had stayed uh, red, because my ideal look for the pet, uh, one of his eyes is always like big and bulging. Cause, you know, he, he's a, and, uh, cause the story goes, uh, Dominus Ambus here was a um, a uh, Autobot spy who infiltrated DJD, and once they figured him out, uh, Kaon had lobotomized him. And put him back in his uh, Turbo Fox mode, and his spot he became kind of the pet of the DJD. And uh, his his original code name was Voss, which is you know that's something else cool. Uh, but I digress. Back to the paint itself. Uh, he also has some here in the mouth area, which is this little, this, these little four teeth here, all painted silver. In fact, let's go back to the figure. Let's open his mouth. See what color those teeth are. Let me get my finger in there. Ah, there we go. Fight me. Uh, a little bit of the same, yeah. If you can get it on camera, there. the paint. If I can get the, there we go. I can get the focus. The paint inside the mouth is very faint, but it too is silver. So, like I said before, MSC did really good in that paint. I mean, I know most of these accents. Sometimes accents make the figure. The thing about the head too, I like, is a damaged ear. On the secondary head, you get one full ear, one damaged ear. Not quite sure when that might have happened in combo, but, but apparently it did. So, represented here. Another accessory he came with. That's also a a chain here. I'm pretty sure any any transformer can hold it, especially from the MNC line. But I know it, I, I'm pretty sure it's meant for Kion, which I'll. I'm gonna transform my bringing K on, and then we'll I'll show that off. But uh, it's also too it's uh, I believe this is normally silver. I would say black paint all over, including the chain. Looks really nice. 
and his fox mode is just plugged onto his uh, chest here. But I dig it. And that's all accessories for him. Now, we can get into his um, articulation a bit. His head can go a full 360. Wait, I think it can. Hold on. I think, well, okay, it's just chins catching the side of the armor. But yeah, it's a full 360. It's on a uh, ball joint. He wants to catch his uh, shoulders because of his chin. There we go. Arms move. At, uh, let's see. They're actually it's like two separate joints here. He has one right here, I think, for Fox mode. Which, right here, I'm just looking at this side of move. Yeah. They both move. And the arm itself can move, and it's on a ball joint, which is, if I hold it down, I can kind of get it to rotate. It's kind of, it's a bit tough. Actually, I take, I take that back, guys. It's not a ball joint. The ball joint is actually inside of here, at the shoulder. So, I think when it comes to rotating, you have to actually rotate the whole shoulder here. Okay. But you do get a full 360 out of that, which is, which is good. And see, he has a bicep swivel. And it's not a full 360 on this. It goes about that far. Which is honestly not a bad thing, but worth noting at least. And I think it's the same on both sides. Let's try this bicep. Yeah, kind of, oh, nope, take it back. This one goes full 360. I wonder why I can't get to go full 360 on, on this side. Oh, I see why. Uh, the pit, it's, it's actually on a uh, mushroom swivel here. If you can, Kind of get that in there. It's my mushroom symbol. I think mine has a lot. Of, oh, I see it's got like a lot of paint on it. So I'm gonna have to really work that out. And the results may vary. Yeah, it's a little stiff. I'm not gonna force it on camera though. But yeah, this has got a lot of paint. No big deal. Not hurt about it. As far as his waist goes, you get a uh, waist swivel. Been about that far. Actually, yeah, you can get the full 360. Awesome. Uh, knee bend. It can bend all the way. Oh, cool. Cool. It bends all the way back. All the way, all the way to the back here. It's, on, it's on, actually on double hinge. Nice. nice. And same for both sides. Yeah. Very nice. Also, his uh, due transformation at the knee, you can spin to get a full 360. If that's something that you're interested in doing. And he has a uh, toe articulation. Bend down all the way, both sides. And heel articulation. And again, mostly because of transformation, which you can get a lot out of that. In, t in terms of articula in terms of ankle, he has slight ankle tick. There we go. Not too much, but just just, just, just a taste. And his hands sadly don't open. They're just a. Uh, just one uh, mold. They're just simply molded. Uh, they're not even made, so he, can, he can't really even hold anything. Although it doesn't come with anything to hold. But you would think they would have given him a, um, a five millimeter hole loose in there, like Hasbro would, so he can perhaps hold a gun. But it's it's all good. Like I said before, I, I figure a lot of us gonna leave him in the Fox mode, so it's all good. But the hands do. I think the hands do spin full 360. It's good. And that too, that spin that you see there. That too is just from transformation for the most part. But it is there. And honestly, that's about it for this guy. And uh his robot mode. It's 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 a very it's a very it's very, very basic. And but it does get the job done. And for I, I would say as far as the scale goes for this guy, he's more of a deluxe scale figure. So we'll just put him back here. Let me grab a. Hmm. Who don't want to grab? Tell you what, let's just let's grab a Scourge. Since I have my hands, it's Titan Return Scourge. And they scale up about the same. So, I, yeah, I have to say, as far as scale goes, he's, he's, about, he's about deluxe in terms of robot mode. So that's Scourge. And if I want to compare him to another DJD member that's more his size, let's do uh, Voss. They're all. The new Voss, because he was the original Voss. Oh, he was—he was—he was, he was Voss before his Voss. I think uh, Voss's actual name is uh, Forstock. I think Megatron revealed that once he killed him. So as you can see, they're about the same size. And yes, I know I haven't—I haven't done a review on Voss. And the reason for that being, if I can go into it here, 
um, I have gotten reports that his transformation becomes brittle over time, the plastic that was used to make him. But since these guys came with this little number, I might be doing a view on him. So I'll transform him you now. <laughs> might be a good way to cheat there. But yeah. Alright. I think those are some good comparisons for him. So if you guys give me a minute here, I'll get this bad boy transformed. And I'll show you his Turbo Fox mode. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, I'm going to have Blaster play me out. Be back in the flash. Alright guys, and we are back. And uh, transformation for this thing is super easy. Not very hard at all. This literally took me uh, basically like two minutes, <laughs> which I'm not mad at that. Sometimes I, I like an easy transformation. Um, hell, I don't lie. A lot of times I like an easy transformation. I, I think things are so convoluted. But uh, here's Foxfire or the pet or Dominus Ambus uh, transform. Um, I have to say, first and foremost, going to going get the negative out of the way for him. Um, I feel like this right here up underneath here is very lazy his face is hanging out right there uh, I mean I mean I get and I don't know who displays the figures on the bottom but I, I like to have had a way to like you know something to come up like over here like to latch up and cover that face and probably connect to the to the fox neck but oh well um overall um I like it I wish this form had, had more a little bit more articulate you know being a, a beast a beast mode transformer you know Sometimes articulation makes or breaks things, and this thing doesn't have very much articulation. But they did give it a um, a bit of a weight uh, using the waist joint. You can get a little bit of this going on. And the tail, I wish that too had been a little bit more articulated. You do have some articulation here at the at the midpoint here, but you can get a little bit of this going on. But that's about it. Um, as you can see, you can get that and a little bit of this. I wish it'd been more, you know, a little bit more easier to move. Uh, regarding the paint apps, the paint apps still shine through pretty good. All that silver, which I, I adore. I love the silver trim here with the paws and the, the thighs. The musculature inside here. And, um, as I said before, uh, you can change the heads. But you can see here, this is more, this is more of his uh, pristine, more, I guess, uh, less domesticated head. <laughs> so, it's on the ball joint right here. I haven't t I haven't never taken it off. Let's, let's do it now. Oops, and it comes off fairly easy. Let's put on this head joint. This is head. See how it looks. Let's pop it on there. There we go. Open the mouth up. And oops, and that's that's a problem too. This right here just wants to pop off. I mean, it goes back on easy enough, but I feel like uh, it should have been glued on. And I think eventually I, I might I might I might just glue it on. But. I seen a bit of a problem with other viewers, right? It just pops off. But yeah, I think I prefer this head on it. As far as the beast mode articulation goes, or lack thereof, you do get some. You do get some some features, like you get the the basic robot uh, deal here, where you know we use those uh, bicep swivels, which mine over here is kind of gunked up, but you get you get what you get there. The elbow is double jointed, so you you get that there, and the toes can move. Where. Also, that hand there is just kind of, kind of an eyesore. You can turn it, kind of do what you can with it, but you know, you know you can't. You had to keep it backwards. I, I wish certain things had just been hidden a lot better on this thing. And on top of articulation, yeah. But I, I guess overall, it does it does what it's supposed to do. Now, as far as that history goes with that that choke chain, uh, you just take this uh, peg right here. And plug it into that hole right there. It's very easy. Like I said, if I might, have to, I might have to glue the the base on to make it stay. But let's see here, like put it on there. Hmm. There we go. I got him with a chain here. And like I said, for it's all it's all the chains are very nice. Uh, so I think the chain is actually silver, painted black. So let's get the moment everybody wants to see. I know I do. 
Let me grab my cane on off my shelf. I don't really get much chance to mess with cane on anymore. But, uh, he kind of just lives on my shelf these days. Waiting for the rest of DJD to show up. Sear scam mode. Put this in his hand. Oh, I, I dig this. Oh yeah, this is awesome area. Right there we go. Got the chain on, old boy. Let's go ahead and put the chain under his foot. That was. And there you go. That's Ken on with his pet. And finally, I feel like this, at least this right here, this is done. Because in, 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 in the comics, uh, the pet, except for a certain point, no, I don't want to hate to spoil some stuff, except for a certain point, they're, they just, the most part, how, how you see them. So, yeah, this, this is cool. This is, this is part of how I'm going to explain them. I might even, on, on far as the display goes, I might actually bend Ken on down. You know, to have him kind of like, you know, like, put his hand on the pet's head or something. But, uh, yeah, I dig this. And MMC, for the chain goes, they didn't have to throw this in. Uh, they could just create the figure, create the character, and that have been good enough. But they, they gave us the choke chain. And I dig it. I dig it a lot. Okay, nice. Well, as far as the pet goes, I guess we can go ahead and wrap this up on him. <laughs> Uh, over uh, because this, this pack came with two characters, which the other character being Nickel, and we can talk about her now. But uh, far as verdicts go on the pet, um, he's he's lacking in a lot of areas, but I think overall I, I do believe that you'd be better you'd be better off getting them. Uh, I don't know if he's worth the the I don't know if he's worth the 124, but I think as combined, I think he is worth it. Yeah, I think he will enjoy him, especially if you have Kion to go along with him. As a, I think they complement one another. But anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and get these two out of the way here, so we can go on to Nickel, who I think for a lot of people is the jewel of the set. And I'm sorry for this review, guys. I know this review is going to go on for a while because I got two figures here, but bear with me. All right. As far as Nickel goes, she comes with uh, a lot more accessories. Let's talk about that before we talk about her. Accessories being, uh, come with an extra set of wings for her alt mode, and they're all made the same way. Uh, I think this is more or less for her flight mode. Because the wings are like more stretched out and everything, and she gets two of those, and they both the same. They're just uh, all one mold, no paint at all, which honestly I'm fine with. And she gets a tail fin. Those are her back adult mode, which it, which two is made for the flight mode, just one piece, no paint. And for her scuba diving mode. <laughs> Yep, she just hit scuba dive mode apparently. Uh, it comes with this. This, uh, this, this snorkel looking thing. Yeah, it just kind of pegs on the back. And she comes with uh, three different faces. Comes with uh, what I call the more. Uh, I, I don't know if it's exactly angry, but more or less concerned face. And this is the one I probably won't want to put her with. And it's got a good bit of paint on there. Mouth and the eyes are nice, pretty, pearlescent and blue. Other face, uh, more of this kind of scared face, like, oh god, they're gonna kill me, you know, type face. Yeah. <laughs> Same level paint, looks really good. And uh, I think we get a, a happy face. There we go, if you can kind of see that. And last but not least, she comes with Boss in gun mode, and I really appreciate this. This is uh, for me personally. This was another big selling point to come with this because um, yet again, I really don't want to do a Boss review for you guys, uh, but I did not want to transform him because uh, again, I've heard so many reports that 
you know, he, he breaks or whatever because the, the plastic gets brittle. I mean, I've transformed it four. I've had pictures on my Instagram if anyone cares. But I really didn't want to transform them again. I feared that I, I might break them. So he come with, so uh, uh, her coming with this gun is a big plus for me. Uh, the gun's also uh, not just one solid piece. It has some articulation to it. Like the stock right here can come in and go out. You can push it back in there. The scope can slide off, which is nice. Come with this nice, uh, looks like a digital view screen. And it's painted up really nice. I, I like that paint there. Also paint here for the scope itself. Same paint as on the, on the, the computer readout thing here. Uh, nice reddish pink trim. Right here, all the way throughout on both sides. And a, uh, the sniping, a little stock here, which is the kind of bracing the ground, which is really nice. Um, it also comes with a separate handle that's made to fit her hands. Very nice. And this uh, handle that comes pre with, it's good for uh, if you have uh, MMC's Megatron or Tarn, which I do. Uh, it's made to fit better in their hands, which again I appreciate because honestly the gun looks better with them than actually her because she's so small. So yeah, uh, yet again one of those things where I really appreciate uh, MMC4. They didn't have to do it, but they did, and I appreciate it a whole lot. Also back to the, uh, this computer readout deal here, you can spin it around and fold down to the sides. Looks really good. I think I think it'd be better if you could if you could fold it this way, which you can, but it, it doesn't go flush with the gun, so it looks kind of looks kind of off. But definitely, definitely, thank you, MC, for this nice piece. Now we can talk about her, and I already have her in her robot mode. Like I said before, she come, she came packaged in her um, in her alt mode, and as you can tell, she does come for little tools. I've already put them on her waist, but they do they can fall off, which kind of sucks. And for sake of the, for sake of review, I'm gonna take them off. But they're all here, all tools. They're uh, all uh, in this nice silver paint, which is very nice. And honestly, if you just turn it sideways, they just come right off. Like that one side just came off. But they're nice. And also, I believe she can hold them. Let's, let's find out. I, I haven't even tried this. Let's see here. If I, let's see here. Okay, she holds them. Pretty decently, not too bad. All right. As far as her paint goes, there is a lot here. There's a lot here. Uh, her face, yet again, like other faces, has a uh, this big, this big giant anime <laughs> blue, uh, blue pearlescent eyes that look really nice. Silver paint for the antennas. Uh, red, a uh, little red paint here on her readout on her head. Which is kind of weird. I always thought kind of weird she has that. Uh, red paint here on the chest. Silver paint to accent it. Uh, light blue here on the sides. Uh, more kind of a darker blue here for the trim. She has a light blue here on her intercom with red buttons. Also, these both open, which, is, which, are, which are nice. I wish I kind of wish there'd been some more detail inside. You can see that it's plain white, but oh well, no big deal. The fact that it opens is pretty cool. Uh, light blue paint here, light blue here, uh, silver here on top of the, the spokes here, and uh, red paint here on the legs, silver paint here on the trim for the feet and the wheels, silver paint here on the thrusters. Overall, uh, she's got quite a bit of paint, a lot more than a lot of MSC figures have. Now down to the figure itself, and articulation goes. Um, let's just go ahead and start ahead. It's a bit obstructed, but it is comic book accurate. Uh, you can turn. I think you can get a full 360. Let's try it. I know you can turn her face. You can't at this point. You can't see. But like I said, it's, it is comic book accurate the way they built her. So I applaud that. Let's see if I get the arm ahead of turn. Yeah, full 360 there. It's nice. There we go. She has a bit of a waist level. Kind of, it's it's a little bit cumbersome getting the way her body's made, but you get that. So full 360 there. Legs you can bend up all this far, bend the knee, 
can go. Uh, well, take it back. She can almost just about kick her own ass. Which is nice. <laughs> and you get the same on both sides. There. Bend the D. Also, she has a um, fast swivel, which is mostly for transformation. But it, it is there, as you can see. So, a little tight. But it's there. As far as the arms go, they've been here at been here at the elbow, and you get a, a little of a, I guess you call it a shoulder swivel, but it too is mostly for transformation. But it is there. Her uh, bicep is super tight, super tight. But you can get it as you can see. It's really tight. And the hands are the, uh, one open piece. You can't close them, which is okay. You know, cause she can at least hold things. And you can spin and get a full 360 out of the hand. Which is all good. And the arms can do a just about 360. My backpack kind of gets in the way. But you can, there you go, you can cut. Kind of, yeah, you can get it. And it can move out this far. So that's good. That's same on both sides. Gotta watch out for that backpack. And watch out for her little um, extensions here. It's a very soft plastic. And you know you don't want to put too much pressure in that. I'm sure you could probably break that. And you know, and this is this is a you know decently expensive piece. You don't want to do that. Okay. And let's see her feet, which are pretty nice. They give her a heel spur. And he's also double as the wheels for her alt mode, which I think is very cool. Uh, toes, you can move that much. I mean, you can close the whole thing. It's most for articulation. But you can you can still get it in there. And hill spurs, you have those, like a men, which is good. Very good. Same both sides, you can kind of see that. Alright. And for the most part, that's nickel in a nutshell. And uh, in the second here, I'm going to get her transformed. But uh, I think as far as Botmo goes, she plays the part well. This is this is pretty much spot on nickel. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. She does have her, uh, on the very top of her head here, uh, she does have a nice, uh, the detail there on top of her head. It looks like a, I don't know what that looks like. It does look, look like, a, like a alarm clock or something. <laughs> That's on top of her head. They painted that silver as well. I ain't want to miss that little fun part. But MNC, for the most part, caught just about every detail of her, of her character. Let me fix this right here. This right here always kind of bothers me. You have to push in really hard to get her full bicep to come down. And it's going to side. I got it down. And it takes a little bit more force and to use, but let's get it in there. Hold on a second. There we go. Yeah, overall, uh, bot mode, I love it. The alt mode, I don't really recall her really seeing her transform. So I think they take a few liberties, but I think it makes sense given how her body's made is a probably her alt mode. So if you guys give me a second, I'll get her transformed. And uh, we'll be right back in a flash. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. And we're back again, and I got her all transformed. And let me say, she is a fiddly somebody. <laughs> yeah, it took a minute for me to, you know, to, to get certain things pegged in and here and there. You would think it would be that rough for a little small figure like she is, but boy, she she tested my patience a little small, little certain things. Um, because she's so fiddly. But anyhow, uh, as far as the Oatmo goes, like I said before, I don't really recall ever seeing it in the the comic but this for the most part it makes sense that it would be this you know she rolls just fine and um, I took it I took the liberty to remove the little top piece here that's no on her backpack so you can insert the various different attachments like uh, you can put her in, her in her aerial mode just plug this in right here apparently this is when she's in flight apparently she can fly I didn't, I didn't know that but yeah <laughs> Uh, that goes in there like so. I can get to peg it in there. Okay. And these right here come off. There you go. Like so. 
and you put in here more aerial dynamic fins. As always, things want to fight me on camera. <coughs> Excuse me. And these go right. Oh, there we go. And that's uh, I guess that's flight mode. Uh, I guess you I guess you might want to fold these little arms back, but they don't, I don't mind them that much. I always uh, since she's since she's more of a medic in a comic book, I figured these little these little grappler arms kind of kind of fit, you know. Especially picking up small bots or small pieces. So yeah, you get that. And if you want to go into her more aquatic mode, I guess you would just remove these fins again. And I think she looks best like this because the way she's built, I could see her being more of a submarine type of alt mode, maybe more long, more or less built for water. I guess it's the, way, it's the way she's built and everything, you know. Uh, this goes right here. And, oops, it's real tight fit. There we go. So, yeah. Tell you, this is the more sea worthy version of her with these fins on. But for me personally, um,. I prefer to take all this mess off, including this, and just put on uh, our original green piece right here. Although, to be fair, I I don't know. I kind of I kind of do the the red fin here on the back, just being her natural. But I don't want to go in there. Anyhow, <laughs> I'll put the I'll put the green back on, just because this is how she comes stock in box. There we go. Little arms. Uh, from what I've seen, the little arms can come off. I do believe when I pose her alt mode, I will just take them off. But they do seem a little—I I, they do seem a little loose. And honestly, I don't really want to pull them off too hard because I don't want—I don't want to stress anything. I have to keep my figures in pretty good shape, so I'll—I'll I'll leave them off right now. But uh, as far as articulation goes in this mode, her little arms are essentially it. Not really capable of grabbing anything, but they do have articulation. So as you can see, they can move back and forth on both sides. And here's her from the back. Not much to, not really much to see here. You see her crotch here, but with little lights, I guess. All in all, uh, the robot, the robot mode is definitely my favorite. But you know, I guess she had to transform because being transformer, transformer got transformed in something. Overall, I dig it. Let's bring the let's bring the pet back in. So uh, yeah, this is the set you get. And I think I think I think together they're worth, they're worth the money. I'm glad they were a combined set because that one twenty that one twenty four is just too big a pill to swallow for each one any one of them individually. <laughs> And I think the crown jewel of the set is probably more or less um, nickel here or knee. You can buy our third party name. As I said, I recommend it. Um, I would I would say if you can hold out and maybe get a little cheaper, but given how MNC's uh, way of doing business, you know, for the most part, if you don't buy these things when they're available, you gotta wait for the second issue because they don't they don't really put out things, they don't reissue really things the way I feel like they should. And at that point, you're going on to the second market, and at that point, you're paying a late tax. You're going to be paying even more for these two. So right now, uh, I got mine from um, TF Source. They're currently sold out. So um, I, I recommend, I guess, Chosen Prime, Big Bad Toy Store. Hopefully, they might get them to stock soon. Uh, you know, so I, I, if you do want these guys, I do say go ahead and pick them up. But pick them up for retail, not dime more. So with that being said, at that price point, I recommend them completely. I hope you enjoyed this review. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, yet again, I can't say enough. Thank you guys for viewing. Thank you guys for getting me to 100. It's been a good ride, and I hope we can keep riding to the next 100. And, you know, and, and to beyond. Thank you guys so much. So, this has been the start on Numspa. The black gentleman. Alright, here, viewing these figures, doing God's work. Until next time. Actually, hold on a minute. There's something I didn't do. <laughs> um, 
you guys are probably wondering, you know, how can I do a DJD shot? Well, uh, with my Tarn, I'm having some work done on him. And I don't really want to review him yet. I, mean, I don't want to reveal him how he looks until, I'm, until I get certain paint apps redone on him. I'm having my cousin do a little work on him. Uh, it's not like a whole lot of work, a little fine stuff. So I don't want to throw Tarn in here yet. But um, here, here's a DGD as they are now, mine's Tarn. I know Nichols in her alt mode, but just imagine her transformed. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're, this is what we're working on so far. We need to need Thesaurus and Helix, and we're finally be done. Hopefully, we'll get them. Uh, maybe maybe one this year. I doubt it, but maybe one. Hopefully, by next year we can get them both, and we could be done with DGD. But all right, guys. No, I really am about to tune out. So this is it again. This has been Sodom Nuspa, the Black Gentleman. How are you doing, guys? Work reviewing these figures, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for getting me to 100. Love you guys. To the moon and back. Until next time, peace out.